What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're here with Arthur and Camp. We're gonna head on out to Valentine, and we're gonna rob the hell out of that damn doctor's office. Yeah, we're gonna at least try. All right. Good to see you. What's up, Charles? I don't know how we got anything done before you joined us. <laughs> I like to keep busy. Anyway, keep it up. Bye, Arthur. Whoa, Karen. Karen. Hello, Arthur. You seem in a good mood. I do. Everybody is in their skibbies. Even old Kieran, look at him. Hey. What's up, Sam? What? Oh, shit. What's wrong, Arthur? I just, uh, nothing. I'm only joking with you. Go to bed, will you? I already was on in bed, I think. Hey, Kieran. There he is. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what? What do you mean? Uh, I'm just joking with you. All right, then. Arthur loves that joke. Arthur, that's the second time you done try to get Kieran for his money. Wait a minute here. It's been a while for some stew. Give me some stew. Can we not eat right now? We gotta eat this. Oh, there it is. Take some stew. We're gonna go rob the, uh, <laughs> I guess the doctor's office. I don't know if we're actually going to rob the Dr. Solvers, but we're going to go and see if we can see what the hell the O'Driscolls are doing there. How much of this can we eat? I want more. Make a big pot. I'm hungry. Oh, we can't eat no more. Damn it. We need our dead eye up and going. Or we can pour some coffee and then we're going to go to sleep. That's backwards, but hey, it works for me, Arthur. Usually when I pour coffee, I'm about ready to go. But that's just, oh, eh, coffee does do your dead eye too. I thought it only did a stamina. Very good. I want to check out something before we actually go. Arthur. Arthur. Hey. Dutch, I knew you were going to say it. I want to check out the back here. We should probably actually... You know what? Oh, how could you? Go to the camp funds first, actually. Because I would like to ransack the ammo again. Contribute ledger. Let's look at ledger. The ammo's... Everything's in white, at least. Which is good. Alright, let's restock. The medicine. Do we need to restock the medicine? No, we don't. Restock provisions. I don't even think we need to restock provisions. Restock the ammo, for sure. What else can we do? We did horse station, chicken coop, leather tools. That's kind of it. We can't really do anything else. Ammunition. Fire bottles, high velocity repeater ammo. Sure. The quantity and quality of ammunition available at Arthur's tent has increased. You can pay to resupply when stocks are low. We already have that. So it's only, it went up to $16. That's fine. Ammo is good now, friends. All we need to do is medicine. Well, that's kind of it. All we need to do is medicine. We're down to thirty-seven dollars, though. Let's hope when we go rob this place. This is it, though. All we have. Let's just make sure one more time the good stuff, because provisions is good, ammunition, and arms is good, lodging is good, horse station, chicken coop, and leather tools. Everything. Yeah, we just need one more. We'll get it at some point. Sixty dollars ain't. It just doesn't seem like much, but we will get it some point. Who's that? Hey, Charles! All seems quiet, Charles. Hello. Hello. Charles, I just need to get some ammo over here, and then I'm going to bed. We'll take some more arrows. We're actually going to probably take everything here. And we'll have to restock at some point, which is fine. Because I really want more shotgun shells. I don't know how we're going to play this out. Repeater? We can leave the repeater there. I want to take the rifle at the moment and shotgun. 
Look, there's fire bottles. Hmm. That's fucking great, man. How many can we take? Alright, let's not ransack it. I don't want it in the red. I don't know if anyone's gonna react different if it's actually in the red. But... I feel like we missed something with our outfit here. No, I don't... Oh, weapons locker. Here we go. Let's look at our weapons locker. So this is the stuff we can... Put on the horse and off the horse. This means we equipped it. Cattleman's revolver. Store in locker. That wasn't storing in locker. It says back. Oh, that's not back. What is that? Hold on. Don't mind me. Cattleman's revolver. It's... We stored it in locker. There we go. Carbine repeater. Well, that's it. That's the only one we're going to store in the locker for now. We don't need it on us. What's the point of having it on us? We stored it in the locker. Who knows how big the locker actually is. Did we miss something on our outfit, though? I feel like we missed a bandana. Spurs, mask, bandana. Here, we did. Yeah, we missed a bandana because I was seeing... Outfit three. That's fine. And then we will put on the jacket because we're going to have to do the jacket again. Where's the jacket? Goats. The hunting. That's fine. And save outfit. Custom four. We're going to go about deleting some of these. Owned, drafted, wardrobe, no coat. Hold on. Give me a second here. Well, uh, we're gonna go, I guess we'll have this outfit. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Outfits, gotta be on our outfits. Yeah. We got custom one. We want three and four on the... We gotta delete this one. Delete. Delete. There we go. Store on horse. We'll put it on. And then we'll store that on horse. Put this one on. Store it on horse. Let me just make sure... We got everything. I know I... It seems a bit tricky. With the whole outfit situation, it kind of really does. It's hard to... Is this even our horse? This That's is a horse. Cool, oh, this horse don't have the outfits. We're gonna wind up taking this horse and just selling it off. This is the one we got on the road last episode. There you go! I think when we actually... Max out Yuki. I might go back to Brucey because I do actually enjoy that Brucey is a bit bigger. I do love this horse quite a lot, though. Yuki is really awesome and she's so beautiful. Custom four, custom three. Let me just make sure 100%. 100%. Try it again. Say three or four. That's fine. Should we go to sleep? What time is it? 6.19 in the morning. Let's not sleep. Let's just roll out. See you later, camp. Careful with that horse or Relax. What'd I do? Get up. What, what'd I do? I'm just getting on the horse. I'm getting on Yuki. Don't ruffle me. Come on, girl. Follow? Oh, it won't follow. Then we'll get on this horse. Yep. Oh. Day, what do you say? <laughs> what the hell did you say? Let's get. All right, heading out. Let's go rob us. Yeah. Some O'Driscoll stuff. I guess I don't think we're gonna rob the shop itself. 
But we are going to deal with some O'Driscolls. For sure, for sure. Going to see how we're going to play it out, though. Because I'm thinking we take Yuki. But we're going to sell this horse off first. We can't have two horses right now. First of all, let me even see if we're going the right way to Valentine. Yeah. Sure. Maybe we can creep around back. Yeah. The thing is, I want to blow the doors off. But I'm kind of scared to blow the doors off because... We could immediately get a bounty and have people coming after us if we blow the doors off. I think we want to go in silent somehow. And then... Just take it from there. Go in silent. Let's see if he can... Let's see if he can open that door for us. It's early in the morning, too. Oh, I was thinking to do this at nighttime, but... Well... It kind of is what it is now. Let's head this way. We'll sell this horse off. There's no point in keeping it. And then... Early morning robbery. Well, I guess you ain't never gotten to Mexico. This is gonna be crazy. How much do you think we're gonna get for this horse? I'm thinking a couple of dollars, probably like two bucks. I can't see us getting any more. Yuki's coming in too. Hello Look there. at her, she's just such a beautiful horse. Well, right. we're getting five bucks for it. I'm happy to stable that for you. You can have it. No papers, huh? Well, I can't give you full price on account of that might be stolen. It's most definitely stolen. Yuki is dirty. Friends, we're going to change the space stirrups. I don't want them anymore. I think it's time. These stirrups are absolutely That's horrendous. A nice addition on a saddle. Hey, man, you don't know any style like me. Where's the space stirrups at again? It's these ones. The hooded stirrups. They're the best ones in the game, it seems like. Well, at least right here. That ones aren't bad, but they're gold. They don't really go with Yuki. That one's... Them ones. Well... Slimline. I hear folks say this town is on the skids. But I don't see it. Fifteen? Damn. We're really losing out on some good stats by going to at least decent looking ones. 40. See, these are kind of the best ones we can do, these golden ones. 40. It's only 10% less. I kind of like these ones. Folks come from all over for our services. We'll keep that ones for now. Those space, they're actually a lot better. You can easily get brushed. Some of them ran... Services? Horse care package? No. Horse provisions. That's where I couldn't find it last right, time. You bet. Because we had to go back a little bit. Attack and services? Oh, okay. All right, I'm getting out. I got to go rob some places here. Friends, look. It's so much better. It's just a little bit worse, but it is what it is. I just think it's better. All right, we're going to put on our crazy ass hockey mask and we're going to do this. The hell was that? Oh, the pigs. I think we should. Can we run out back? We'll keep Yuki right here. Can we hit her to this fence? How are we going to do this? I'm going to take in a bow. <laughs> Go in there and do it with the fucking varmint rifle. We're going to take in the bow. We have our guns, but... What's up with that? What was that? The textures? Put it away. We're going with our guns. Put it away. We need to put our mask on. Oh, they got this guy right here, though. You think he's going to be pissed about our mask? Face, huh? Something about to happen? No. 
Ain't nothing going on. <laughs> oh shit. We what a fog. Everyone knows us already. Hold on. I'm not about to sell to you with that mask on. The hell you think you're doing here? You Don't show worry. your face or I have to get the law. Hey, put that damn gun down. Rob, back room. Yep. Yes, sir. Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them. I promise you. You hey, make I'm them open up. Take it easy. Or you're a dead man. Let me in, sucker. It's probably for your own good. You know there are Driscoll's, right? You're probably safer with them gone. Maybe, actually. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. That's Don't what you think. Don't try anything funny. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. We're going in with the bow. Should we just go in and dead eye whoever's Looks in here? Like a nice Hi. 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 Back here. Well, we did it. Take money. Come on, take that money, Arthur. It's time to hurry the fuck up. There's unknown sp suspect investigating. What is this? Revolver, cattleman's. Is that a safe back there? Loot case. Is that a safe? Oh, that is a safe! Okay. There was something about a There was definitely something about a safe in here. Shit. Come on. Get the dynamite out. Let's blow this safe up. Come out with your hands up. Oh. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Fucking definitely hurt. Plain money chip. Alright, we got oh shit. Should we just haul ass? We got the weapon. Loot the Driscoll. Oh, they're coming on us. They're right here. What the hell happened here? Search the chest. He's right there. Don't worry about me. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go this way, I think. We, we've got a gun on the ground there. Oh, we didn't loot everything in there, but we can't. Hold it right. Don't worry about me, deputy. Next Nothing step, going on here. You Yuki! One of you better, better that right away. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Holy, that was cool. Oh, God. That was even cooler. <laughs> come here! I need you! We got this! <laughs> Look at a fucking flip! <laughs> Hang in there! We only got a two dollar bounty. I didn't do nothing, sir! You're mistaking me for somebody else that looks like me. Let's just keep running. Keep on hauling ass. We'll... I don't know. Wait, who's over here? What's all this? <laughs> oh, that's an O'Driscoll camp! We're, <laughs> we're leading the law right to the O'Driscolls! Fight them! <laughs> I think they're fighting each other! They are! <laughs> this is fucking great! We need to rob stuff way more often. Oh, they're actually still running after us! Damn it! They fought the O'Driscolls for a second and rolled out. We're gonna lose them, I think. Maybe. The law is searching. What the hell is this? What's up here? Wait, a minute, where were you at? Oh, we're by Fort Wallace. Shit. The one guy's still searching, but let's just uh, keep on running. 
I'm actually going to Mark Valentine again. Mark Valentine again. We're going to pay off this $2 bounty. But we're not going to go that way. We'll kind of go this way. Because I think we're about to lose them here in a second. That went pretty... Splendidly, for the most part. I think. That chest, we didn't get a chance to loot the damn chest. And I think I got whatever was out of the safe. I do remember seeing the safe when we looked through the window. But... I don't even know if we needed to blow it off the hinges. It's probably best if we just fucking blow it off the hinges. I was expecting to blow the door down. Well, we're good now. There's no more bounties. Whew. We led them mother efforts right into an Adriscoll camp. Look at that sucker. Huge. It's a big ass elk. That's it. Poor Yuki. You're good. Sorry I had to put you through that. And you pull that out, you better fucking use it. Yeah. He just pulled his weapon out immediately. How is it okay if they pull their weapon out, but it's not okay if we pull our weapon out? Yeah? All right. What would you do if somebody pulled a weapon out? Oh, I can pull mine out too. Yeah? But we didn't do nothing. We were just breezing on by. We back in Valentine? Maybe we should change our clothing here. Oh, shit. I don't want none of that. Wait, did we not have our mask up? Oh, we did. did we... Take your mask off, mother. There it is. What is going on? Is it because we're on this little hill kind of falling here? We'll change our clothes to outfit three. There it is. Thank you for my hat, Yuki. You always have all the good things on you. We gotta check out this weapon that we got. We got a Schofield? Ooh, that's good. It looks to be a little bit more damage. It's got less range and less fire rate. Reload speed's slower too. Accuracy's higher. The white lines are where we're at, yeah? But what are the kind of grayish lines? Does that mean what it can be with modifications? Probably. Too many folks about. Don't worry about nothing. What? Nothing going on here. We're going to have to skirt around. We can't just go right through Valentine. They don't know who it was, though. Unknown suspect. We got a bounty of $2. Oh, no. The law is there. They definitely will know. Come on. Because the law is still there. Let's pay our bounty off. $2 bounty. Was it worth it? $2? Yeah, definitely. I didn't get a chance to see how much money we actually got. But we went into that with like, what? $30? Excuse me. I got bounties to be paid. I got... I'm doing stuff. You're welcome. How do you do? Liberty is worth every penny. We got $100. Look, a $2 bounty. We got a good deal of money out of that, but we, um, good day to you. I didn't get a chance to loot everything. Maybe, look, here's the thing. We could have probably stayed there and killed them, the, the lawmen. We could have killed them, but we would have got a huge bounty on us, and it would have defeated the purpose of actually all the money that we stayed and tried to get. We would have lost by paying like a $50 bounty, probably, because we would have had to kill all of them to get out there. Going into it, my thought process was like, okay, let's go in here and steal whatever we can or kill the O'Driscolls and do whatever the fuck we can with shutting this place down. Getting what we can and then running the hell away. And running away, let's try not to kill any lawmen that's on us so we don't get any kind of bounties. Is this an O'Driscoll right here? Up a minute there. Don't make Look me fight you. Look at this fake. Careful, everybody. Whatever you come looking for ain't here. Clear these streets. Don't mind me, I'm leaving. I don't want to start nothing else. Let's not start anything else, let's roll out. Come on. Best be leaving now. Is that right? Okay then. 
That's the last straw. Go ahead, hit me first. This is the big time, dead man. Eat this. Oh, Driscoll's a. I'm defending myself now. Your story is. You like that? Hey, your boy's all right. Let's loot him. He he fought us first. We can loot him. Can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. We looted. Don't. Keep it out your mind, folks. I let him purposely beat the hell out of us. Hold on. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Let's get our outfit, new outfit on. Actually, we need our hat. Ooh, I'm fucking nervous right now, man. I just am. I'm still quite a bit nervous at what just happened. Let's brush All Yuki. Right. We got away though. Minimal damage. Our health has. Uh, we're good. We really are. I kind of want to walk back in there and see what happens. Yeah, he I he should. He should not know it's us at this point. He shouldn't. Get moving. I hope not. All right, Yuki, hang hang out out here. All right, I'm gonna go okay. into the. Going here. I am. Hello. How you doing? You must like living here. Really? All the best now. So long. So long, good lady. <laughs> we fucking ran up here and jumped off. <laughs> that was so cool. We can't look back in there. No, we can't. What can we go in the back here? In. Can't. The doctor's office is shut down for however long. Friends, $2 bounty. Way worth it. We got 70 bucks out of that, I think. Give or take, 70 something. Well, let's head on back to camp. We, I do want to start another episode, or episode. I do want to start another main quest, but I don't want to start it this episode. So let's not start it. Let's see if we can get a show here, actually. What's up, pup? Hey, be easy, be easy. I don't want to run you over. Hello. Yeah, let's see if we can get on the show. the show. I sure am. We'll do a ticket taker, buy a ticket. Buy a ticket 50? 50 what? Is it 50 cents? Ticket for one, please. Okay. Okay, head on in. Take let's go left. in and watch a show. We robbed. Now we're going to watch a show, and then we'll go back to camp and talk to some people. Next episode, we'll be doing dodges for sure, and then doing a lot of main missions. I think it's actually time. Let's see what they got in store for us this time. Oh, I feel good that we did that decently. I'm about to share with you one of the wonders of the age. In fact, one of the wonders of any age. Aerial navigation, or as we call it, man flight. Soaring and through the heavens in flying machines, so that even gravity itself can be mastered. An amazing and bewildering spectacle, but I assure you everything I am about to share with you is true. Now, we are all familiar with the potential cruelties and injustices of travel by horse, wagon, or locomotive. Oh. You are like to be beset upon by the infinite savagery of wicked men or bloodthirsty beasts that lurk in the bogs and plains of these tormented lands. But what if I told you for a certainty that man will soon be traveling across the heavens with wings like a bird? I am sure you think I am full of untruth, but I have not drank a pint of liquor in over a year, and I will do my utmost to <laughs> demonstrate the veracity of my claims. What? For a hundred years, steamboats have engaged in passage along our great rivers. But a man by the name of Cecil H. Peck is in the process of inventing a steamboat 
for the sky. The only limitation on its speed at which the porter can shovel on more coal. But parts of the country where coal is scarce, oars can be used in the skies to hasten your voyage and keep the passengers active while they travel. Near Pittsburgh, there lives a telegraph man named Aldous Kinnear, who each evening after supper retires to his barn and dons the wings of a giant creature and takes to the heavens. You will be delighted to know he has traveled considerable distances, as many as 45 miraculous feet. Unfortunately, on his record-breaking flight, he knocked over a lamp and was consumed by flames. <laughs> His two boys, hell? Percival and Charles, have promised to continue their dear pa's legacy of sky flight. A whole heap of men are fashioning contraptions to take us to the heavens. A flying machine powered by a trusty donkey. Once you arrive at your destination, you can mount the saddle and ride away. With this incredible contraption, one can enjoy some popped corn and have the best view in the house at the next flogging or lynching. Stagecoach Robert will soon be a relic of the past when we enlist our animal friends as couriers well out of range of man's shooting irons. But the most remarkable thing I have to reveal to you comes from a northern man called Moss John Nichols. Imagine travel without ever getting into a saddle. No doubt you have heard accounts or seen in person the majesty of flight achieved by performers in the circus. Mr. Nichols has perfected the sky cannon. Passengers <laughs> simply walk up the steps, relax what? into the barrel, and are transported with great flourish to the destination of their choice. The lame and infirmed who have been ravaged by scarlet fever or polio can once again call upon their loved ones. These newlyweds are all grown up, turned 17, <laughs> said their wedding vows, and are off to visit New York City. And some very forward thinkers have told me that within 10 years, dear audience, any of us can take a holiday trip to the moon. I must disclose I'm quite partial to this mode of transport. Ships and horses are like to sour my stomach. The future is in the skies, my friends. Look to the heavens. We are going to join him up there by and by. That seems like a good way to fly, though. You just get into a cannon, up, up, and away! Don't worry about the landing, it won't be at all. Hope to Messy. see you again. Take it easy, sir. I love your shows. Let's go, girl. Let's head back to camp. Maybe we should do some hunting on the way. Is there any kind of hunting we can do in this area, though? Because, ultimately... What about a Citadel Rock? Because there's a big deer here. Would that be a legendary deer? Or would this be the legendary deer? Or this? Tell you what. We'll head over here, yeah? And then... Just try to find something for the camp. It's the best we can do. Hey, you're okay, girl. Try to find something for the camp. Because, uh, looking at the map, I don't think we have a legendary deer on the map at all. Because... The only legendary thing we have is this legendary fish. Oh, it has to have a crown. That makes sense. If it has no crown, then it is not legendary. There was a dragon bone here. I want to see a legendary deer, damn it. We'll have to find it on the map somewhere because... We definitely need a perfect pelt. We just need- well, the legendary- all the legendary stuff goes to... All the legendary stuff goes to the trapper. But the perfect pelt stuff, can we just get it from anything? How do we go about getting perfect pelts? Do we need specific areas, or... Will we be able to get a perfect pelt just randomly? What I'm saying is... Randomly meaning, okay, we stumble upon an area that has deer in it, right? And then we're gonna go and look in the distance, and... Oh shit, there's a fucking three-star pelt deer there. Or, this randomly, that deer is a two-star, not a three-star. 
I feel like that's the that's how it works with the fucking the perfect pelts. You just kind of there you go. You kind of just get lucky. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, we'll go down this gully here. I want to at least get some kind of animal. What is that in the distance there? Some kind of animal before we go back to camp. There we go. And it's a two star. Both are two star. Hmm. Could be the area though. The, see the way I'm thinking is that one. I can't really see that one. The way I'm thinking though. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Yuki. Easy. I'm thinking that these areas with the animal that's marked. Let's go see. Would this be? That's probably a pronghorn. It looks more like a pronghorn than anything else. Anyways, the areas marked with the animals might signify that you could probably get a three star from that area. Would it matter if we spook the animal though? Will it? Will it go down if it's because they're all two stars? There's a three star right there. Okay. Three star pronghorn. Yuki, you're getting... You stay here, alright? I'm gonna need my weapon. We can get that pronghorn. That's what it is, friends. That has to be what it is. Springfield. And then let's do cover scent. See if we can get this three star. We can... Oh look, they're still there. I don't want to eat the wild carrot. Let's pull our weapon out. They won't move, I, I guess, since... Pronghorn buck. What's that one? That one's a two-star. Where'd the three-star go? I know you're here. It's Maybe the three-star rolled out. Two star? Two star. Damn it. Where'd that three star go? We need to be more careful. It's gotta be over there. Cause that's still the two star. And that's the two star. Shit! We we're gonna fall. Well, our scent's gonna probably go away, sadly. Arthur, take it easy. The only thing we can do is keep pushing a bit forward. Will there be anything down here? No. So this is really how you do it. Study the squirrel. Friends, there's a black squirrel here. I don't have another weapon. To not destroy his pelt. I can't kill him with the show field. Or show field. He's gonna go off now. I can't kill him with a... Rifle It's gonna mutilate him. Stay. Stay here. Let me get the varmint. Repeater. Varmint. Damn, we're going to miss that black squirrel. Two three stars. And we fucked up on both of them. We just need to be more prepared. We're not prepared. Is that him? No. There he is. We got to get a, a headshot on him. Did we get a headshot? Maybe. We might have. Would there be a perfect squirrel pelt, though? Oh, it's a two-star now. But his head is gone.
Look, we shot his head off. We shot him right in the head. Damn it. How did we mess that up? Let me read that. The black squirrel inhabits the woodlands of New Hanover and parts of West Elizabeth. Its omnivorous diet consists of seeds, nuts, small insects, and fungi. A bow with small game arrows can be used to hunt squirrel with minimal damage to their pelts. Damn it, a bow. I was thinking the varmint. Pelts from squirrels can be sold to traders and their meat is edible. Though, very stringy. Damn it, man. All right, well, we needed the, we needed the fucking, the bow. Well, I can't imagine them pronghorns are still there. Live, you learn. I should have looked at the, um, I should have looked at the codex first. That was on me. For sure, for sure. The bow, regular, it's regular arrows, though. Fine. Well, we had a three-star pronghorn and a three-star black squirrel. And nothing to show for it. We got a good pelt out of it, at least. Do we need... The squirrel, though? See if we see any animals out and about. We can track this unknown animal here. See if it might turn into a three-star. What is that? We're getting it. Get a better understanding at hunting here. There's the tracks of the unknown animal. Alright, keep tracking the unknown animal. Because it makes me wonder what the unknown animal might be. We're going to get into some shit, aren't we? Damn, we missed on that three-star pronghorn, man. Damn it, friends. There's a white-tailed deal, a three-star. We spooked it, though. We didn't spook it that much. Oh, yeah, the fuck we did. One square between your eyes. The fuck you doing? Hun? I'm hunting here, jackass. Good. Can't be bothered burying you. <laughs> That's all fuck. What did I do? Get a man a hunting piece. Alright, well that's the whole this is the whole gist of it then. This literally is. You go to an area. Who the fuck's that? There's Bill. Hey Bill! I'm hunting over here, man! We done messed up on the deer, though. We're getting too close, and they're getting spooked. Do we legitimately need to sneak all the way? We can take more cover scent. Fuck it. Let's take more cover scent. Or we can just go haul ass over there. Okay, I'm about to haul ass over there and get a headshot. It's the... Sneaking would take me about an hour to even get over here and try to get these suckers. They gotta be right over this mountain. We had a three star, all types of three stars. It's cool though, because we're learning the three star ways here. We ain't doing it right yet, but we're at least seeing the three star animals because I just feel like we never really seen three star animals. It's probably because I never actually looked. Until now. I don't see nada. They don't roll out too. See anything? No. Well. Yeah, they completely rolled out. We spooked them too much. Wait. Two star. The two stars are always out in the open. The three stars are the ones we can't fucking find. They're smarter. We 
We can take a two star and just bring it back to camp. Because we really need to get back to camp. Or we can keep searching. Damn, I'm upset about the squirrel. We had a three star squirrel right there. And we jacked it up. The effects of your cover scent have worn off. Damn, that actually lasted quite a long time. I guess we can take the two star. Yeah, but these might be the ones. Why isn't your pelt three star, sir? Button's kind of intense. You gotta be up. Stealthier. Because you can't just, the game don't have you just sitting up in a tree somewhere, just waiting for them to come past. There ain't nothing up there. Alright, well, look, we know how to do it now. At least. And that's a plus. There's one down here, too. There it is! There it is! Headshot from this far away. Let's try to get a little bit closer. Woo! Gunfire near camp may draw unwanted attention. Move further away. We did it! We dropped them! We got a three star pronghorn, I think. I hope. Let's let's just hope. Sneaky. So they decoyed with the tube over there to get you thinking that there ain't gonna be anything else in the area. Just go take a two star. But we waited long enough. And we got what we got, what we got. We got a three star! Perfect pelt, friends. We did it. We got a perfect pelt pronghorn. I love it. Hunting's so cool. It's going to take up so much time in the Let's Play, and I don't give a hell. This Let's Play can be 500 to 1,000 hours long, and I'm okay with it. Let's stow it. And we'll take this sucker. Look at that beautiful pelt. You can see that it's even perfect. We'll pick up the three star and then we'll just, uh... Hey, Pearson, this is going to be some good eating. We'll drop it uh, off at camp. Good haul there, girl. It is a good haul. Oh, just girl. go to... Is that how it is, though? Just go to the areas where the animals are marked. It shows you that, okay, these animals are in this area and there could possibly be a three star. You just got to take your time and look. You got to sneak around. You got to be careful. You need to look. I'm really happy about that. That we actually figured out kind of how to really hunt. We're going to need more cover scent. That's just how it is. We're going to need to keep buying cover scent. I feel like every time we get a chance to get it, we should buy it. Can we make cover scent? We probably can. Wait, what is that animal though? Is that another one? I think that's a three star there too. I mean, yeah. you never know at this point. Give me another three star. That's a one star. I think we know three star this close to camp. Damn, we could have had two three stars with that black squirrel pelt. Shit. Who goes there? It's me. The hero returns. You been bringing in money? Okay, well, good. You been bringing in money, Bill? Keep your eyes open, Bill. You see that hunt I just did, Bill? You probably did from a distance. Susan has left a reward for you at your tent. Oh, thanks, Susan. Camp funds is two dollars. Once in old dress school, always Ooh, in hard, dress school. girl. What's your problem? I already proved myself. Hey, Javi, take it easy, huh? Well, all you proved is uh, how quickly you'll turn on your friends. No, no, it ain't like that. I, I, uh, I only rode with them for a while. Oh, Arthur, I left yeah, something for you, you by your tent. Food. A little thank you for that seasoning you brought me. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I'm watching you. Hey, Kieran. We're all watching you. I saved your life, Arthur. And now you ain't tied to a tree. I wish they would give Kieran a bit more of a chance here. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh huh. He did prove himself. They should give him a chance. Kieran is, it reminds me of like, 
you go to a job, right? You're in a job, and they always call you, like, you just started a job, they always, they call you the new guy, right? But they always call you the new guy, like, five years later, still calling oh, you new guy. John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Where'd you leave the reward at? Well, I should get back to it. We'll see you later. Where'd you leave the reward? Examine. We did the. Oh, Fuck you! Leave the reward. Said you left a buyer. Ten. I ain't going to bed. Inspect. We already did that. We already read everything over here. Take. Oh mate, you gave me pomade. Cigarettes. Oat and tonic. I can't imagine that's what she gave us. Inspect. Oh, we already did that. We'll have to buy our tent, huh? Is it this stuff? I don't know. Maybe that's what she gave us. Just that shit. Because it's probably not this stuff back here. Yeah, the newspaper, we've already read that. The little tiny newspaper, I remember reading that. We read that when hey, we first came to camp. Hey, Thank you, Swanson. Mr. Morgan. Thank you. What'd I do? Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself, again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. She's telling us about John, which actually makes me nervous. Oh, John's got a quest on the map now. Okay, now it's on there. We have to do Dutches first. We can't not do Dutches. Shaving kit. Susan, I'm not sure what you gave me, unless you just gave me all that shit on my desk. You think that's what she gave us? So, Arthur. Arthur. Mr. Smith. How you doing, Dutch? We'll get to you next time, Dutch. I promise. Who's this? What? Oh, troll. Uh, you been up to much, have you? Not really. <laughs> Charles has been learning how to fly, to be honest. <laughs> Read any interesting books recently? No. <laughs> Seen Charles... any plays? No. Charles ain't got nothing to say, Uncle, really. He kind of just wants to be left alone. You heard any good jokes? Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> well, you fancy sharing it with me? Hey. What's up, Jose? Hey. No. Oh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I won't want to be stuck in the wilderness with you, Charles. I've had more fun well, watching the grass grow. <laughs> Please, go watch it. You know, someday you will warm up to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Hi. You, right? you having a bad day or something? No. Uh, I get it. We'll leave you alone. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right. What's up, Charles? You sound... There he is. Evening. You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. If you even noticed, we moved camp. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, Very best. Evening. Sometimes I wonder why you stick with us reprobates. Oh, you ain't so bad. Anyway, shouldn't put ideas in your head. Okay. Okay then. Hey, you're sin. Let's donate. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. And I yeah, await. Good squirrel carcass. Damn it. There you Good. Go. We really needed this. Wait. Donate for crafting. Ah, 
Ah, now I can turn this into something special. Yeah, buddy. How about I'll donate this one for eating? You can have that one. Well, there you go, Pearson. Let me buy some cover scent from you. Make some cover scent. Herder bait, herbivore bait. Thank you, Arthur. Let's see about the crafting upgrades. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. Any pronghorn in here? There's the bison. Oh, we got the pronghorn. It doesn't look like there's anything in here needing of a pronghorn. We need to get a deer. Ah, oh, shit, man. The perfect squirrel pelt is right there for the ingredient satchel. Remember, you won't Damn it, man. I didn't think a bow. I thought an arrow would actually wreck it more than a tiny little varmint rifle. What? Hold on. Uh, Javier's singing. Some good material. I want to hear it. He's singing in, in Spanish. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you saved my life, and I'm well. I'm very grateful. No mention it ever ruined the show. The show. I made a fool of myself. We've all done it. I just, I just, I get so confused and angry, and then I, I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier. And, well, I'm a real prize dope. I know it. You change your underwear yet? Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right. All right, Javi. I was trying to listen to the beautiful music. Swanson done ruffled our feathers. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes, we missed it. It was really good though, Javier. I like that one. good with Sean. We wouldn't have got him without you. All we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. <laughs> Probably a good thing. I know. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yes, see you later. All right, friends, I'm going to save here. Next episode, we are doing Dutch's mission because I want to do John's mission. We, I don't want to leave John's. It just, it, it seemed weird how we got it because we didn't get it at first, but now it's on the map. Susan's telling us, and last time she told us something was the Mary lady. And, well, we did that one, but we should really think about doing John's very shortly. We're going to do Dutch's first. Man, I am so broken up that we messed up on that black squirrel. We could have got a perfect squirrel pelt. They're probably hard to find too because they're small, you know? They really are. But look at the bright side this way. Now we can probably just, um, well, look, there's no, damn it, there's no squirrel symbols outside of camp. But we took them right outside of camp right here, pretty much by lymphony. We could try again, but not every day. I see squirrels. I don't think that's like one of the first time I think we ever seen a squirrel. We just don't see them that much. It's my fault for not actually reading it to see. I usually read the animals beforehand and now we know for sure that once we see a three star, we need to read the hit the F1 and read the journal about that three star. We should have took it with a bow. It would have been really hard to take it with a bow. But we could have did it. We definitely got the headshot with the um, varmint rifle, and it should have been, seriously, it should have been a three-star. That varmint ain't that much more powerful than the varmint rifle is actually not as powerful as a bow. I feel like a bow would wreck it more, right? Varmint rifles are tiny, small. They're used for killing rabbits and shit. And the squirrel is literally right like a rabbit. It just needs specific arrows, though. Small game arrows or whatever it said. Just regular arrows, maybe. I don't think just regular arrows would have did it, either. I think it was a specific arrow it was taken. So no matter what, even if we use the small... Even if we use a regular arrow, we might have actually still destroyed the pelt. I don't think we had them small arrows that we need. Or maybe I'm just mistaken. Maybe regular arrows do work. But anyways, when we come back, Dutch's quest, and then we'll just take it from there. I'm out of here, my friends. Have a good one. Stay safe. Okay, See you next time. Take care.